I tell you what, riding with Dave on YouTube, That's you'll fine. see that all the trucks sitting here when I was sitting here. What is up, Dave? Back again for another truck and vlog, and we're going to uh, where are we going today? I don't remember. Uh, Somerville, South Carolina. That's it. So Somerville, South Carolina. Uh, we're not very far from there. We're like 20 minutes from there. I'll put a picture up on screen. This is what the place looks like. Uh, looks like a pretty standard warehouse, but uh, <laughs> read through the reviews. It doesn't sound like I'm going to have too good of a time there. Just judging by what other drivers are saying, basically. So we're going to see what happens when we get here. There were some reviews and stuff of people saying like no room or nowhere to park and stuff like that. But when you look at it on the satellite view, it really doesn't look bad at all. So I don't know really what to expect when I get here. That's all I freaking heard. Something about a flatbed. Oh no. Three quarter miles. Take exit one ninety four on the right to road sixteen. Then take the first left. Road sixteen is the exit that we're taking. All right, one point three. I'll probably film my pickup for y'all too, because I feel like this place isn't going to be very eventful or take very long. I mean, I might be there for a long time, but you know, I'll just be making an editing cut showing y'all when I get there, get backed into a door, and leave like I usually do. Jedburg Road, Jedburg Pineopolis. <laughs> Pineopolis. Pineopolis. Yeah, Flying J right next to this place, too. Huh. Is that it over there, that blue building? I can't tell yet. Might be after that. Turn left at the traffic light, then take the first right. So, <laughs> supposedly, this is another thing I read about this place, is, <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all about this, Supposedly, when you get unloaded here, you have to drop your trailer in a door, and then you have to go down to the Flying J. I don't know. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if it's still that way. Some of the reviews that I read that were old, but I have never been to a place that had made you, if you're getting loaded or unloaded, drop the trailer and bobtail off of their lot. So... Yeah. That'll be interesting if they tell me to do that. I mean, it's like, whatever, I'm going to do it. You know, as they tell me to do, then okay. But it's very weird. I've never been a place that did that. A lot of places make you drop your trailer in a door and go bobtail somewhere to park on their lot or whatever. Or... But never tell you to go down to the truck stop. So that's weird. It might be that. Yeah, that's it right over there. It doesn't look very busy at all. Huh. Okay. It doesn't look like there's a lot going on down there. Oh, I see one truck's lights. I do know they opened at 7. It's 7-Eleven right now, so they just opened. I actually stopped and got me some food at an Arby's back down the way. Speaking of Arby's, Arby's right there. Because I had some time to kill because I didn't want to get there before they opened, so... Smoking gringos. <laughs> that place is called smoking gringos. <laughs> what y'all cooking in there? I ain't going. I ain't going in there. Oh y'all ain't getting me today. White boy is not getting cooked up, son. It ain't happening. <laughs> oh, this place thing I've seen all day. Smoking gringos. Arrive at 830 drop left drive. On the left. Okay, it's not this one. This is actually the car parking lot here. So, what a... So I'm going to go in here. Is that gate open? Yep. Oh, it is busy in here. <laughs> I, it looked like... What the hell? I swear to God, there wasn't nothing going on in here when I looked down. I was like, oh, that looks pretty chill. And no, it's not. I just, I don't know what I was looking at. It was this building, though, but I didn't see anything going on. Good Lord, everybody get here at 7 o'clock. 
check in due to road work all traffic must enter and exit here driver entrance dc 4894 4094 between doors 33 and 34 after hours call such and such so i gotta go between door i don't know what to do with all these trucks with their four ways on i guess i'm just gonna park behind somebody and just hang out where's this is door starting door one what's everybody doing right here hell i don't know you can't even get in the place oh god <laughs> i had a feeling it was gonna be something like this all right guys let me check in i'll be back all right guys so i guess i'm at the wrong spot i gotta go down the road a little bit um i'm not no sorry i totally botched that i'm not at the wrong <laughs> spot or anything weird like that i'm at the right place i'm just at the wrong check-in door to my left, there was a driver check-in door, and that's literally what it said. It said driver check-in here, but I guess it's multiple businesses, because right there it says driver entrance, but where that sign back there said doors number 33 to 34 or whatever, that's actually where I need to be. It's supposedly a Sam's is what I'm doing. I'm supposed to go. I'm just gonna try to get over as much as I can, I guess. And then throw my four ways on and walk to this check-in office, I guess. So I don't know what else to freaking do. <laughs> Cause 33, yeah, right where that guy's coming out. All right, I'll be right back with y'all. All right, guys. So before you see this clip of where the stuff pops off, let me do a quick explanation because I was pissed and in the moment at this time and I didn't really explain to begin with what's happening. So it'll better have you understand like what was going on. Uh, the check in process was very slow. So I was in there for, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes, which is a long time to be in there. My truck sitting outside. And I'm the type of person that every time my truck's sitting out there, I'm like, come on, I want to get back out there because I'm sure I'm probably in the way of somebody, you know, but there's really nowhere to go because there's so many people. Um, so finally, when they got done, I walk out the door and the moment I step outside, there's this guy approaching me really aggressively. And he's like, is that your online truck out there? And I was like, yes, it is. And I'm walking fast because I'm trying to get it done, you know, and get out of the way. And uh, dude just copped a straight up attitude with me and talking about how my truck is blocking everybody out here. And he's very aggressive with it. He's not approaching me like, hey, man, you're, you know, you're in the way. Could you please move? You know, and I would have hurried up. No, he actually comes out and gets very aggressive with me, starts yelling at me about moving my truck and how my SHITS is in the way and this, that and the other dude. And I'm just like, you know, I lost it. I lost it because. You know, obviously I had no choice but to sit in this freaking office for 25 minutes. I can't move my truck. So he's probably sitting out there trying to back the whole time. And he's getting frustrated because nobody's at this truck, but I can't do anything about it. And yeah, we end up getting in a big heated argument and I'll let you see it from here. But that kind of just sets up what happened that I didn't film because obviously I did not take my camera into the office with me or have it on my head. So there you go. Uh, that's the explanation. And now I'll let you guys see what happened. Y'all saw there was trucks everywhere, and this guy just came inside and started a whole bunch of shit with me, and me and him just got in a big old argument. Let's go, I'll show y'all what he looks like, too. There was trucks everywhere, bro. All you gotta do is pull over out of the way. Okay. I couldn't. Pull over out of the way. I tell you what. Quit arguing. I tell you what, riding with Dave on YouTube, That's you'll see that all the trucks sitting here when I was no, sitting here. So you'll see every truck dude every truck was sitting here you'll see it okay okay you're gonna come in and start yelling at me This place is freaking ridiculous. Where is he going? I don't know where he's going, but I gotta back up now because my door's behind me. And you do, you do gotta freaking. wait for this dude to do what he's gonna do before I can do anything if 
freaking dude coming. Sorry guys, I didn't really explain anything that happened. It all happened really quick. They took forever in there. This place is a mess, literally is a mess. They took forever. So I'm freaking, I got to back, I don't know where this truck's going. And so I have to get over and back behind this freaking truck here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and to the left. There is a janitor here that I'm going to have to watch out for. Yeah, it's a lot clearer now than when I freaking parked. I don't know what else I was supposed to do, but there was freaking trucks everywhere. So I don't know what homie wants me to freaking do. There's absolute, what was I supposed to do? There's absolutely nowhere to park. How do I know that they're taking those doors? I don't freaking know. I have a freaking crystal ball saying these doors are gonna get taken. He's like, you should have parked along the line of trailers. Well, there was, there was a line of trucks five, six deep right here, dude. There was nowhere I could go. Where am I supposed to go? You know what I mean? That's what made me so mad about it, dude, because he walked up to me. I was just coming out of the shipping office. And don't get me wrong, whenever I park out here, I want to try to get in and out of the shipping office as quick as possible so then I can freaking, you know, get out of the way of everybody. But there was nothing I could do. I had to go around one day cab, and then there was a line of three trucks right here. So it was either park in the middle or swing over to the right. And he's all freaking pissed off. And he comes up to me as I'm walking out of that door there. He, he walks up to me. He's like, are you in the online truck? I said, yeah, I am. He's like, well, you're blocking everybody. Come get your out of the way. So then I start arguing with him. And then I'm, I'm like yelling at him. He's yelling at me. We're both just yelling at each other, dude. Literally, both of us are sitting there screaming at each other. Let's go open the doors at least. I got to get back to door 20. And then you do have to disconnect and you do have to leave. So it's all of that. And I told the dude in the white truck next to that a-hole right there that y'all see, that white truck, that freight liner there, I apologized to him as I'm arguing with the other dude. I said, hey, bro, I'm sorry there was a lot of trucks here. I'm sorry, because he had to back in. It looked like around me, too. But, you know, like I said, I just, I don't know these things. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where people are backing. Y'all know I always try to get on the edge of stuff out of the way. I try to park as well as I can. But I had no other option, man. This place is messed up, dude. It is messed up. Is he going to disconnect now? Because I'm probably going to have to wait to back up until he freaking disconnects. Oh my God, dude. I can't even back up to go get my freaking door. <laughs> uh, this place is freaking a cluster, bro. It is a cluster. <sighs> that rig truck's still trying to back in, so I got to wait for a minute. All right, homie's gone. Now I just gotta wait for the red truck to back in and then I can do what I gotta do. <laughs> what a cluster, man. What a cluster this place is. Yeah. All right, is he done now? Is he done? I think he is. I think he's in there. I mean, it's a... anybody oh, come on somebody let me freaking back up so i can take my door now there's gonna be people in my way because averett stopped right there and now i'm trying to back up watch out homie see this is this is what happened to me is now all these guys are like what do we do and now they're all gonna stop Werner's gonna stop next to this averett I got my trailer where I can be somewhere. This NFI is gonna be in my way. This is this is what it looked like when I was trying to freaking park somewhere, dude. I did the best I, I flipping could, you know what I mean? And dude's gonna have a freaking cow at me because we when he when he pulls in here, he sees that it's freaking empty. <laughs> and then it looks bad on me, but you don't know what was going on before I got freaking got here, dude. Now it's gonna be hard for okay, I gotta go next to this guy here. It's gonna be a bit tricky because of this Walmart here. So I might have to wait for this guy to disconnect. So that's the problem is now I have to back and there's people in my way, but you know what? I know why they're there because I dealt with the same freaking thing. You know what I mean? I could go up and I could, I could just turn up in there and then wait for Walmart to move, I guess. 
Yeah, see, if Walmart right, wasn't right there, I'd have it, but this is gonna be rough. Unless I turn straight up in there, it's gonna be like my best option. Let me go open the doors real quick. Let me get out of his way, because he's about to disconnect. All right, guys, now we can go ahead and attempt our flipping back, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be tight as hell. That's all I know. It's gonna be tight as hell. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it, boys. We're gonna try. Oh, Walmart's running. He's trying to help me out. <laughs> I appreciate it. He's trying to move for me, man. <laughs> I got it, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm watching the corner of my trailer. See, I could have yelled at Walmart. I could have gotten mad. And I could have been pissed off. And be like, Walmart, you're blocking where I gotta blow it back in. You know what I mean? But instead, I understand. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? I'm also not a freaking a-hole that just walks up to some random driver because he just so happened to be in your freaking way and get all pissed off about it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, that's what pisses me off. Is like, you know, Walmart didn't know. He's just trying to freaking pull in here and check in like everybody else, which is what I was trying to do. And then some freaking... Yeah, I'm way off. That's all I know. I am way off. All the way back. I'm not done yet. I'm... There we go. Now we're in there. We are in there now, boy. <laughs> we are in there. Took one little pull up and we got her. <laughs> Appreciate it. <clears throat> Whew. I think I'm good. Let me go check before I actually pull both brakes and disconnect. Oh yeah, that worked out perfectly. It was still a little tight with Walmart right there, boys. Tell you what. Man, I'm heated, boys. I'm heated. I think that's the most heated I've gotten out here. I think that's the most heated I've gotten out here. I'll explain to y'all a little better when I get out of this uh, atmosphere and place and everything else. All right, nobody parking swift. Do not park in front of me. Whatever you do, I gotta get out from under this trailer. I was just waiting for my air to go down. There we go. All right, now that I've calmed down for a little bit, let me explain to y'all. I'll, I'll read. I was I was amped up earlier, dude. We were arguing before I even turned the camera back on. We were both yelling at each other. Um, so I'm in the check-in office. I walk in. There's like three people at a table. Some dude tells me, go down to that lady down there. She says, I'll be right with you. I was in there about 20 minutes, okay? It was a while. I was kind of just sitting there like, well, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to get out of here. Turn right on drop-off drive, then take the first left. Finally, she helped me, told me what door to drop my trailer in. And so I start walking right back out. And when the moment I walk out, some dude 
walks up to me all aggressively, dude. Like, I'm talking about, like, walks straight up to me. You can just tell in his face he's pissed off. And he's like, are you in that online truck? I said, yeah, I am. And he said, well, you're all up in the way. And, and just starts griping at me about me being in the way. And then I just lost it because I was already pissed off about being in there for 20 minutes. And then we both just lost it on each other. I mean, we were standing there face to face, just hollering at each other, boys. Like literally standing there face to face. Well, then he starts to walk away. And I'm already, at this point, I'm pissed off. So I'm like freaking yelling at him as he's walking away from me. I'm like, dude, there was six, seven trucks right here. There's nowhere else I could go. I had to park somewhere. And I kept telling him, I was like, go bitch at someone else. And I don't know, we just we were both just going at it, dude. I can't remember every little thing that was said um, because it was heat of the moment, but that was, you know, that was the gist of it. And he's just basically sitting there just telling me that I'm an idiot for parking like I did. Well, there was nowhere to freaking park, dude. There's like nowhere to go. And I don't know what doors everybody's backing in. I don't know, nobody was backing at the moment that I parked. So I don't know what to do. And y'all saw, I had to go around like a day cab driver there and I squeezed in as best I could. And then, you know, I ran in to check in. Little did I know it was gonna be a 20 minute freaking check-in process. So then I'm yelling, we're both yelling at each other, you know? And finally he goes to his truck and the other guy that had just backed in, you know, with me where I was, I apologized to him. Feet. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't come up to me and start yelling or anything. And I said, hey man, I'm sorry. You know, there was a lot of trucks around. I apologize. And he's like, oh, you're good, man. Like he was cool about it. You know, he's like, you're fine. You're fine. I ain't worried about it. I was like, okay, I appreciate it. And then me and that dude still started yelling some more. Then I got my truck and I'm like, so I'm gonna put the crap on YouTube. So I did. And then I'm just like, you know, whatever. All right, I'm parking right here behind this truck here. Um, creative parking. I don't like taking a full spot when I'm bobtail, so I'm just gonna like pull right up here, boy. make sure they got trucks coming out of that area have enough room to park I want to I want to make sure give me a second guys oh yeah 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 okay everybody can get out of there yeah that's fine because they're gonna be going that way anyways to leave I don't think you can that's a dead end down there so they got to go that way so there's no way I'm gonna be anywhere near there they'll be able to pull their trailer around me Cause there ain't nowhere to park here because they send everybody here hey there's warmer bobtails over there actually there's several bobtails over there i didn't even notice that when i pulled in yeah we're gonna we're gonna change a plan here we are gonna change a plan and go park over there in the car parking lot because because why why inconvenience all the trailers and everybody else around here when i can go park in the freaking car parking lot you know what I mean? Like, why not? Two Werners there. We'll just go park next to them. Could park in that corner, too. Let's do that. Go park in that corner over there. Heck yeah, boy. Heck yeah, boy. I'm gonna go park in that corner. Hey, that was a pretty solid back at that place, though, wasn't it? That was pretty solid, wasn't it? With all that was going on, and I was pissed off. <laughs> That's what didn't help, is I was pissed off, too, man. I was like, I mean, I still took my time with the back and everything and tried to do my best, but I, I was boys i was fuming y'all are gonna y'all know i was when i freaking upload this video all right guys um i was surprised that it did not take as long as i thought it would um i think i was sitting here 30 minutes what is this guy doing oh, okay he's backing it took about 30 minutes I had some time to calm down now <laughs> i needed a minute to calm down before going back to this hell hole that's Turn pretty much uh, lane, then take the first left. 
what it was. All right, so we gotta take a left out of here. Oh no, there's another truck coming. Crap. It's gonna be a minute for me to get out of here because I'm gonna have to wait for three trucks to cross the thing. Unless the day cap's nice to me and lets me go. Oh, he is, okay. <laughs> Are they going? No turn signal. Thanks, man. Look at the freaking turn signal. Turn left on South Carolina 16, then take the first left. I was trying to go fast enough to let this day cab go too since he was nice enough to uh, help me out, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I was wondering if he was going to let me go since I was kind of sitting there waiting at the entrance. He didn't have to, he had the right of way. But, <laughs> appreciate you buddy. I didn't know, I stopped suddenly because I was like, oh this car doesn't have a blinker on and they were moving pretty fast so I was like, I don't want to pull out in front of them. And then, yeah, they turned without a blinker so I'm just like, oh thanks a lot buddy but he was able to make the light, so I felt better. I wanted my homie to make the light because he let me pull out, you know what I mean? So I, I gutted it. I was like, let me go so I can... There's another bobtail right there. Going down to the truck stop that just dropped his trailer. This is the first place that I've ever uh, had that does this, guys. I've never had another uh, place make you bobtail off the premises. I mean, some will let you. A lot of times you gotta drop your trailer and some might be like yeah go ahead and uh bobtail if you want to go somewhere get some food or whatever I always liked when i'm able to do that but not many are like you have to go i understand because they have no room and this is a, Sam a sam's club dc it's not this contain here that contain logistics is something different that is not for uh that is not where i am delivering at it's two separate warehouses that first door the wrong one that i checked into that's the contain logistics. <laughs> There's our buddy right there. Let's see. <laughs> he didn't look. <laughs> I waved at him. He did not look. <laughs> he was looking to the left. He was like, I ain't dealing with this guy anymore. <laughs> No hard feelings, homie. If you see this video, no hard feelings. I don't calm down now. I was pissed. Oh, uh, shoot, man. guys i got out that truck right there was so hard for me to get out i i didn't throw the camera on because i was just i had to walk into the shipping office get my paperwork came back out was about to pull out to close the doors and you know there's a truck in front of me just like how homeboy couldn't get in his door i could barely get out i had to do the whole worm thing and keep pushing my trailer to the left so that i wouldn't clip the uh schneider trailer on my right because i tried to pull out at first i was like oh i'm not gonna make this i'm gonna hit the schneider trailer so then i would like you know back back to the left and then turn to the left and then turn out to the right that doesn't make any sense to y'all i know <laughs> it's hard to explain but anyways y'all y'all that have done that drive know what i'm talking about i had to do the engine game to get my trailer moved over to the other side enough to where i could make the turn out and I did, I got out of there, and I was just like, good God, I don't ever want to go to this place again. It's just, there's no room. That's why they make you leave, obviously, is because they don't have any room for trucks to sit. So they make you go down to the truck stop. That is the first time in a, it's the first time since that video that y'all know of where uh, that day cab driver, I got a yield sign, that day cab driver and me kind of got into it. And that one wasn't even that bad. This one was a lot worse. I wish y'all could have saw the initial argument. It was the way he approached me, you know what I mean? If he if he, if he he came up to me and he would have been like, hey man, I can't get in, do you mind moving your truck or something, you know? Everything would have went totally differently, dude. It would have been perfectly fine. Like, I would have been like, oh yeah, my bad, man. There was a lot of trucks around here. You know, I was the best I could. I would have ran to my truck, moved it out of the way, and been like, you know, sorry about that, et cetera, and we would have all been good. But when you approach me... <laughs> just straight up cussing and like acting like I'm just a complete idiot. Yeah, that's gonna piss me off. It's gonna piss me off every time. And uh, 
I think it's why it made me so mad because I know I am somebody out here that's pretty considerate and always trying to park out of the way and always try to do the right thing and you know I get out of the way of the next guy that's backing when I need to close my doors or I need to slide my tandems I always try to get out of everybody's way let them do their thing and you know just be considerate of others so when I get into a situation like that where somebody approaches me when they didn't know the situation beforehand and they're just like you know you need to move your effing truck nobody can back yeah okay i'm gonna snap back at you you know what i mean i'm not just gonna this is how i've always been dude like if you talk to me like that i'm gonna talk to you that way about it you know and uh yeah that's just the way it is you know what i mean like, it's just the way it is it's like if you treat me with respect out here i'll treat you with respect you know and i've always been that way it's like the last altercation I got into um, that I was just talking about a second ago with that guy. Where was it? I don't even remember now. Somewhere in Tennessee or something. That day cab driver. Y'all know the video. It's got like over 2 million views now. But like it was with that guy. Like, you know, I was pretty chill until like I kept seeing him shake his head. And I, I wasn't rushing him, you know. I even said on camera, I'm like, you know, we're just going to wait till he gets done doing what he's doing. Then I'm going to go for the back. And he just kept walking back and forth, loading his stuff in and out of the store and every time he come out he'd just shake his head and it was like an obvious head shake too dude, dude and like eventually i just like honk honk i was like come here come here like i just wanted to explain to him i was like dude i'm new i don't know that i can make it i'm not rushing you i'm just sitting here just waiting for you to get done doing what you're doing like you're good you know what i mean like that's what i was trying to explain to him and why i called him over and like it would have went way different if he like would have just walked over originally rather than shaking his head at me if he just would have walked over and said hey man do you need some help like you know i feel i feel like you could do this and i would have been more than likely have been like actually you know what yeah if you don't mind sure you know and i would have turned up and with his help gotten around that fence into that dock door you know what i mean and it would have went totally different and it's like why can't people just be that way to begin with you know what i mean like if people are that way to begin with I feel like way less altercations would happen if people were just normal in the way they approach people or say something to them. Don't get me wrong, I get pissed when somebody parks in the worst absolute spot, you know, or it's very inconsiderate of others. But if I didn't actually see them park there, I don't know the situation. And I'm never going to walk up to them and, and tell them, hey, move your effing truck, you know. The, the most I would do in that situation, even if I saw them park like an idiot or whatever the case may be, I'm gonna walk up to that person if I need to back in or whatever. I'm just, hey man, do you mind uh, moving real quick just so I could get into this spot? That's exactly how I would say it. That's how I talk to people, man. I never approach people with an attitude or cussing at them or whatever because, you know, that's just, it's unnecessary. Now, if I walked up to somebody nicely and I was like, hey man, do you mind moving so I can back into here? And they're like, F off or something like that. Then, okay, then it may go a little different. You know what I mean? But I always try to be respectful to people. Like, no matter where I am, dude. And I've had to do that before. I remember one time with CFI, there was a Werner driver. Well, he was hauling a Werner trailer. It wasn't actually a Werner driver. It might have been an owner off or a smaller company. But I asked him if he could move. And he like got pissy with me. And I remember I called him an a-hole on video. And I remember CFI talked to me after that and was like, hey, can we not call other drivers a-holes out here? Like, can we just not do that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. I won't call anybody else an a-hole. But it was funny because I called him that because I, I, exactly like I told y'all a minute ago, I hopped out my truck. I was like, hey, man, I got to get in that dock right there. And he was just sitting there. You know, he wasn't backing. He wasn't closing doors, nothing. He was just sitting there doing nothing for a minute. And I needed to get in the door. So I like went over there and I was like, hey man, uh, I got a back right there. Do you mind if I, <laughs> you know, and that's the way I said it. Like the nice, the nicest way possible, man, to the guy. Cause he didn't know what I was going to do. You know, you got to go tell him, let him know what you're going to do. Then you can work with each other to get both your jobs done. You see what I'm saying here? But like, I can't even remember what he said now. All I remember is, it, is he pissed me off because I approached him nice as could be and he just got pissy about it. It's just like, man. Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown